Hi there. My name is Greg Persinger, and I'm the owner of Vivid Illumination. Over the years, I've worked with hundreds of different churches, and I've picked up lots of tips and techniques along the way. I'd like to share some of those techniques with you in these church tech talks. Today we want to talk about LED psych lights, LED PARs, and LED strip lights. But before we talk about each fixture specifically, let's talk about some of the generalities of full color mixing LED fixtures. LED fixtures have some great advantages. The first one that I like to talk about is energy efficiency. Uh, LED fixtures consume so much less energy than their typical incandescent counterpart that you save a lot of money on your energy bills. Second, LED fixtures produce much less heat, and producing less heat means that you can cut down on the cost of your air conditioning bill. Third, LED fixtures have very long lamp life, generally between 50,000 and 100,000 hours. Uh, this means that you don't have to replace a lamp for the life of the fixture, and that it lowers your maintenance costs because you don't have to touch them whenever they're hanging in the air. Last, and this is my favorite as a lighting designer, full color mixing LED fixtures allow you to make any color you want, giving you great versatility because one fixture can do it all. Let's talk about the psych light. So this is an LED color mixing psych fixture. What it's great for is washing uh, tall sanctuary walls, uh, tall drapes that you may have hanging behind a choir, um, and tall scenic pieces. It's made to throw really long distance and it's made generally to sit on the floor, although it can also be hung as well. The next fixture that I want to talk about is the LED PAR. It's probably one of the most used LED fixtures in churches. Um, the LED PAR is a really great tool. It's very versatile. You can do a lot of different things with it. You can hang it in your rig. You can use it for backlight. You can use it for front light. You can light scenic pieces with it. You can light walls. Um, because of that versatility, that's one of the reasons why it's heavily used. Um, lots of different options. They come in a lot of different sizes and it's a really great fixture. If you have to buy one fixture, uh, that's a really good one to invest in. The last fixture that I want to talk about is the LED strip light. The strip light's similar to the psych light, uh, but it has some major differences. Uh, both the psych light and the strip light are great at lighting walls, but the strip light is generally a more economical tool, and it's also not made to throw the distances that the psych light throws. While generally, strip lights are used to wash walls, scenic elements, and drape, uh, they can also be used as eye candy, where the face of the fixture points toward your congregation, backlights your worship band, and just adds another visual aspect to your stage. While each of these fixtures is a different tool, that doesn't mean that you can't use them all together. Uh, for instance, typically when I'm designing, I'll use an LED PAR for a backlight to backlight my worship band, while I have a psych behind the choir lighting the tall walls, and I'll have an LED strip lighting my small scenic pieces and my small drapes. Each of these fixtures is a different tool. Whether you use them separately or together doesn't really matter. It all depends on what kind of a design you're trying to achieve. So get out there and experiment, uh, have fun, come up with some great designs for your church, and we'll see you next time.